is online doing sexual content. Now, these children are going to watch this and go on Instagram and follow this person. His name's Ophelia. He's very sexual online. He sings a song about cutting boys if you want to have to take the, the, the due diligence to go look at his video. That's not the Canada we want to live in. Yeah. I'm proud to announce that tomorrow, on the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia, we will be tabling a bill in the House of Commons to ensure the full protection of transgender people. And I am proud to also announce that I will attend Montreal Pride this summer, which is just a regular part of my summer schedule, but a very first for a Prime Minister. <laughs> Because we must continue to demand true equality. We must carry on the legacy of those who fought for justice by being bold and ambitious in our actions, and we must work diligently to close the gap between our principles and our reality. Hey gang, what's up? Just Aaron right here, Question Period Canada. Most of our videos are pretty silly. This one, not so much, guys. It's a pretty heavy issue. Canadians are cracking down decisions that our liberal NDP coalition government have been making since that piece with Trudeau is from 2015. And now we're starting to see the fallout. This is Pierre Polyev's stance on what Trudeau did. Let's take a peek at that. And then we're bringing you to a place that we don't usually go. We usually hang out in the House of Commons, but we're bringing it to St. Catharines, Ontario where something crazy went down. We're just gonna check that out after this Polyev bit. Oh my goodness, guys, something terrible is happening in Canada. I don't know. It doesn't seem like the country that I grew up in anymore. It's weird, it's sad, it's scary. All of those things, Canadians need to see it. We need an election. Let's start with Polyev right here. Let's check it out. What do you think? What do you think? I want to know your position. Know your position. What is your own party policy? It's your own party policy. A party convention. I think we should protect the rights of parents to make their own decisions. What does it mean? With regards to their children. And I believe that adults should have the freedom to make any decision they want about their bodies. But minors but children have children have surgeries think, and medical interventions for minors as your own party members suggested. Medical interventions like what? That, that, it, that is the language that your party What medical used. interventions? Well, well you would have to ask your party members. What medical such interventions? As medical, such as puberty blockers and hormone replacement. For minors? Yeah. Yes. Irreversible? Yeah. You're talking yeah. about irreversible? Well, I, 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 I just want to make another comment on this. Justin Trudeau is again puffing out his chest, trying to divide Canadians and attack parents who are trying to protect their kids. He will, in the end, back down on this, just like he had to back down on his firearms policy, just like he had to back down on bringing in medical assistance and dying for people suffering from mental illness, just like he's backing down again and again and again. He will back down on this because he is not interested in protecting kids. He's interested in using this as a divisive wedge to distract from doubling housing costs and quadrupling carbon taxes on our people. I don't know how sensitive you are, but possibly you could find this very upsetting. So I just want to give you a heads up. I think it's interesting to watch, but I do want to give you the heads up. This possibly could be upsetting. Like, uh, it is upsetting. Let's take a look. We're gonna watch the whole thing here, so you might want to get some popcorn. It's a long piece, but once you start watching, you won't be able to stop. So get your treats now, like the movie is starting. And very last thing before we go, I'm not trying to be a YouTuber here. I'm trying to be the town crier. That is, remember, remember, remember? Like we are trying that, town crier sharing what we learn as we learn and know it. That's it. Let's get into the video. This is a wild one. Whoa. What's that? There's a couple of So we're down here at the uh, St. Catharines Library here. And, uh, there it is. How you doing today? Oh, and you better be a sin. 
How you doing? What's that? What's that? I don't smoke. Oh, okay. Go. Welcome to the library in St. Catharines. See what's going on here. I don't see anything of yet. Do we need it? Oh, here it is. How are you doing today, sir? My dad, where are you going? I'm inside to take a look. I'm oh, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. How are you doing today? Hey, need to leave now, sir. I'm just here for private no, rides. Oh, why? Because they don't, it's, a, it's a special event. You have to have something to get out, like uh, an ID or something like that. An ID? I have an ID. I'm a, a yeah, tax paying citizen of St. Catharines. can't be here. I'll why can't I be here? Cops are on the way. The cops are on their way. I can't stand here and be here or participate in the activity. It's a crime I'm doing. I'm a taxpayer. Story time. The person that's doing the story time is a mephelian. If you've seen, they're very sexually exposed on social media and they have songs about uh, sexual activity and this the kind of person they're dancing for children. <clears throat> what do you think about that, Sam? I think you what need to leave. Need to leave. Why? What about yeah, I'm a tax paying citizen. They can agree outside. <laughs> they have a they right to agree. protest parents outside. Parents that don't agree with this. Let's go talk outside. Oh, fine. I'm right here. I'm, I'm a tax paying citizen. Really? There's rules in the library that I can't pass. This is, uh, I don't understand what they're doing. public library. We can talk right here. I'm not a protester, I'm a taxpayer. So there's a dancer named Ophelia, and she's very provocative online, and she'll be talking to children today. Uh, if you can watch her on social media, I've already posted her content, and it's very disturbing content. And uh, this person... Go. Why do I need to go? I'm a tax paying citizen. We don't care. Go. You don't care. Yeah, so the yeah, city of St. Catharines... It's a private event. Let's go. Oh, I'm registered. Chloe Bigger. I'm a female. I'm a 12-year-old girl. I'm registered on the thing, you can see it. Yes, I am. I'm a 12-year-old girl. I identify as a 12-year-old girl. So you're going to be up a little girl? I'm a little girl. I'm a 12-year-old girl. I'm here. You have to just get out of here. I'm a woman. Please refer to my gender. Possibly could you use my pronouns? I'm a little girl. Children need Jesus. They do not need stories being read to them by gay people and transgender people. We need Jesus. This world needs God. Well, that is what we need. No, I'm a little girl. I'm a 12-year-old girl. I identify as a little girl, so um, please respect me for who I am. I smell like alcohol. Oof. You're around kids. You smell like booze. Some of you guys does. Do you smell like alcohol? I smell like alcohol. We don't drink, dude. Are you... Well, I'm a little girl. I'm not a dude, so you just just run my pronouns. Oh, wait, a little girl. On. Yeah. How are you doing today, sir? Good. You? Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing excellent. Thank you. How are you doing today, sir? Yeah. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. I just came to the public library. I pay taxes. I just want to see what's going on down here. I'm documenting it. I'm a 12-year-old girl. I'm a 12-year-old girl. I got as a 12-year-old girl. Yes, I do. Okay. This is the world we're living in. We identify yeah, so, as whoever we If you want to, to apprehend me or do anything, you have to call my parents for authority. I'm a 12-year-old girl. Uh, you might have, we have a, just a conversation? Yeah, we'll be right here. Okay, so... What is it that you're you looking to, to, to have happen today? Well, as a 12-year-old girl, I am um, seeing this person's videos online. Her name is Ophelia, and she's very sexually prompted and it's very inappropriate for children. That's my concern. If this child's here to watch these people dance and they're gonna go search them up online and see what they actually do. If you watch the videos yourself, you'd actually be concerned if you were a parent. Okay. And so what is it that you're hoping to have? To, to show the world exactly what's going on with our tax dollars, exposing our governments and who's protecting these people doing things that we do with our tax dollars. This is a government building, correct? Paid by a tax dollar funding. <clears throat> so I have a right to be here and film this. Okay. You just want to sit silently yep. in the back and watch? Yes, I do. Correct. I I won't raise my voice at all. I'll sit right there and videotape the whole thing. Um, and maybe the ladies in charge of organizing this. And as long as you're, uh, like you said, peaceful and just looking to kind of videotape this, yes. hopefully we can find some 
Well, I've paid enough taxes in this town. I've lived here for my whole life, so. Right. Yeah, they might know me then. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. Sure. Sure. I'm a 12 year old girl. I'm your parent. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm here with you. Oh. Hi, Ma. <laughs> They're going to let me stay here. Why shouldn't I? I want to document what's going on in my hometown. This is my hometown, so. And that's the thing. If there's nothing to hide, why not? Why not let the us people in and yeah. check it out and see what's going on? Exactly. There's nothing to hide. Well, the person, that's dan the person that's doing the story time, I'm very concerned about their content online. Oh. Um, and if you watch their content, it's very inappropriate. Exactly. So my concern is that one of these children are now going to use their social media to go check this person out and see inappropriate content that they create. You understand my point of view, right? Oh, 100%. All right. That's why you're my mom. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Raise your right. Yeah. A couple backhands here and there, right? <clears throat> so we're here at the... Um, the, the Pride Niagara Drag Show, and um, they were going to try to kick me out, but since I'm a 12 year old girl and uh, I identify as a little girl, I see how I've um, used their tactics. They're very good, and I'm very good at what I do. So I feel so, uh, feel so enlightened as a 12 year old girl right now. I've never felt this fresh in my life before. So let's take a look at the books. <clears throat> we're going to read these books here for children. So further reading, I'll take one of these documents to do some further research at home. <clears throat> shake your bum bum, everyone. If you're a drag queen and you know it, shake your bum. And you really want to Shake your it. bum bum, yeah. Okay. My mom's going through the book to make sure that uh, as a 12-year-old girl that I'm, uh, I'm able to see. What do you think, Ma? Is this inappropriate for me as a 12-year-old girl? Uh, Look at these, it's like a South Park fucking thing. Right? Wow. South Park. Bam, bam. How are you, brother? I'm doing amazing. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Doing great. So what's going on here? Well, there's some books here. Um, they seem to be very inappropriate for children. One is, well, you can see them here. There's all types of things. Shake your bum bum. And we haven't just gone through the first book here. It's pretty crazy. There's individuals here that... Uh, are going to be exposing their child to a drag queen who um, has provocative and uh, very sexual videos online. My concern is that these children will see this person and then go on to social media. And the songs that this person sings is disgusting and inappropriate. Uh, any of that is an adult, they're not, the song is terrible, let alone that this person is now speaking to children. So it's a wonderful uh, event. Not spoke with the, um, the the manager in charge okay. of the event. So what it, this is a it was a ticketed event. So what that uh, means is you had to pre-register for it. I did, and Chloe Bigger. Yeah, I'm a 12 year old girl. It's on there. You You're, can look it up. They have a list. Okay, I'll go. You're not to see on it. So it's a, a 60. The capacity of the room is 60 people. The event is sold out. You're not on the list. So unfortunately, for this event, you're not going to be able to be in the room. Said that, you can hang out in the library. So, um, I would like you to do your own research. The person that's doing this activity, his name's Ophelia online. Uh, so, I mean, as a, as a police officer, remember, you should actually want to write my concerns down. And I, I want an investigation put but into we're this. We're going to have then. to talk outside. You can't be in this room, okay? I can't be in this room. The tax bank says the event hasn't well, like even started said, yet. The capacity is 60. Well, it's not at 60 right the now. The event is sold out. Okay. So, I'm just doing you some guys... documents of the books and stuff right now, and when it gets to capacity, I'll walk outside and talk to you. Listen. Yeah. We've been, just one second. We've, I understand your concern. No, you don't. You're not doing anything about it. You guys I'm are trying to be, I'm trying to be reasonable. And I'm very... I'm, I've let you come in here. You've documented the books. Well, we're you've not done documenting the books. Okay. So give us the time to document the books. You've Do seen I, what's going on. Well, I know, you know what's going on. I'm doing my due diligence as a parent and a taxpayer. Can I please just look at the books, captivate what I need from them, and then I'll how be much, on my way? How much time do you need? Give me five more minutes. I'll, I'll shake on. I'm a gentleman. No. 
to these guys. They said it's a ticket event. They tried to prevent you from coming through the door. Yeah, they did. I just walked in. They, they don't want you in here. Obviously anymore. not, because I'm exposing the evilness that's so, happening in this event. What Are I you need, a Christian man, Mr. What Rubel? I need from you guys is to put the books back. We can talk outside. I want to just do a couple more pictures. I will book. document your concerns. Okay. I can write a report if that's what you want. Because the last event I went to, there was a Paul Shepard was in the audience. who's a known pedophile charged with. Uh, um, okay. And so Listen. these people here attending these events, that's dancing right. erotically, wearing women's clothing, and they're acting sexually online. And they're exposing themselves to children. We've already documented videotapes at the last one at, at, at uh, the park, and no one did anything. A man's actually genitals fell out in front of a child. You guys did nothing in the police force. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to have this conversation outside. I understand your concerns. You're bringing up points. I want to document them. So if we can talk out there, that's fine. All right. I'll, okay. I understand. Thank you. Appreciate that. I still have a question for you. But we, we got to talk outside. Okay. Listen. I, just look through this book. Just, yeah, just you got to look. We're trying to show you stuff, evidence of what's going on here. Okay. Well, take the book out. Can we take the book outside to show you some certain things? Concealing evidence. Centers. How are you doing today, sir? You're, you're proud of yourself? You're super proud of yourself. Defending pedophilia? Probably you're one yourself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You are. You admitted to it online. There he is. That's why he's here defending this stuff. Pardon me? Well, then why don't you get out of here? I'm not posing issues like that. I'm not, what's my issue? I'm concerned that this person, Ophelia, has stuff online, very sexually, very provocative, very adult, and he's dancing on his Instagram, and now he's speaking with children? It's a very concern. I'm, I'm a taxpayer and a parent. What's your problem? You, you can be here, too, and voice your opinion. It's a freedom. It's freedom. You got a problem with freedom? Are you American or Canadian? I can't tell by your hat. I'm a North American, man. Are you a supporter of pedophilia? I can't tell by your face. Oh, that's a yes. I have two children. Oh, I feel family. sorry for them. You're letting them get uh, indoctrinated by these people. Keep your judgments to yourself, man. No, no, I can do what I want. It's freedom of speech. That's not what Christ is like. Oh. That's not what Christ do you know Christ? Christ was Christ in there right now? I knew Christ for a very long time. Well, and why don't you get in there and he's tell not, them what they're doing? He's not like this, man. Not well, like I'm not Christ. Christ. Sorry to break it to you. I'm Josh Bigger. But if you're trying to be like Christ, you're not spreading these I'm not trying to be like Christ. I'm trying to be more like me. I'm a Canadian, a concerned taxpayer, and a concerned parent. It's just, it's just the hate, man. There's no hate. Stop the you're hate. the one saying that. I never said I hate anybody. I hate pedophilia. Yes, I do. Actually, you're right. I do hate pedophilia. Oh, God. Let's hear this. Come uh, on. Those are hateful words, me standing up for the children's rights and innocence of children. This is a free country. Yeah, that's a free country. I'm here. Yeah. So, I'm just talking. I'm talking. No, I don't want to go outside. You can go outside. This is the sexual abuse. Grooming of children, bro. Tell me how it's not. This is a free country. Can I say something? This is a free country. I'm allowed to do what I want. Yeah. You don't like it? Cry about it on his last Facebook. I can film you all day if you don't want me to film. Police officers right here, they won't do anything. That's enough, eh? You know that's against our policy, right? Yeah. No recording on property. I'm not recording. Yeah, you are. No, no, I'm on Facebook Live. Yeah, well, still, it don't matter. Oh, well, that person's that's on their recording. phone. That's recording. That's, that's recording. You're on live. So you either turn it off Bye. or leave. Or leave. Well, I, I think I'm allowed to record here. No policy. It's a taxpayer's uh, building here right now, and I paid my tax dollars here. And I'm going to talk to the police officer outside. It's the library. The library gets to set the policy. Our policy is. You call people idiots now. I'm just concerned about the children's safety and the innocence of children. Well, you can be concerned from the sidewalk if you want to keep recording. You seem pretty aggressive, sir. You're aggressive. You see, actually, I feel I feel intimidated by this gentleman. Oh, I'm sorry, man. He's getting in my face. I'm scared. Well, because yeah, I need to enforce the rules. The rules are no recording on property. Well, police officer, right here. I'm staying right here. It's a public area, but we're allowed to record. Public event we're allowed to record. Yes. I'm just uh, protecting children and the innocence of my rights as a Canadian. Does that, does that upset you, you sir? I'm sorry, I'm sorry you got your feelings hurt today. But I'm here to protect the innocence of children, whether you like it or not. Are you upset about that, ma'am? Save our children. Good for you. 
right now in the library and guys being told that we're allowed to film in here. Yeah, I'm trying to tell me what to do. Welcome to Canada. They can have a, a, a transgender stripper go talk to the kids about shaking his bum bum. But uh, I can't stand here and tell somebody that I think it's inappropriate and that protecting the innocence of children is the right thing to do. So I'm the bad guy here. How many vaccines you got? Just out of first it's a question. Booster. How many boosters you got? I don't want to be on camera. I don't care. I'm serious. I'm just asking a question. Well, there's no. gonna... Whoa, 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 whoa. Assault. Ow, ow. Oh. Can you get him? Oh, man, he touched me. My hand hurts. My hand, you see that? Please don't touch us. Wow. This guy's a tax. I pay for this building here. Yeah. This is the kind of people to deal with. They get aggressive, they attack, and I just want to hear and film the document what's going on here because it's wrong. So, thanks for coming out. So now, what's the, what's the goal? The goal is to create awareness. Yeah, create awareness. That's exactly what we're doing. Is that a, is this a crime I'm doing? No, no. I'm okay. just asking. Why are we being harassed? Yeah. Well, you said you wanted to talk to me out here. Oh no, you want to talk to me out here. Yeah, I, I mean, you want to get us out of there. And talk yeah, to us. yeah. Oh, so, a, so we, we want to talk about. Okay, so the first of all, the one Friday movement in Montebello Park, uh, um, an adult's penis fell out of his pants in front of seven children. Rob documented it. We have it. We sent it to you. You guys did nothing. There's an the exposure of a male's genitals to children, and we we documented it. We sent to you guys this information. Nothing's been done. This person here is online doing sexual content. Now, these children are going to watch this and go on Instagram and follow this person. His name's Ophelia. He's very sexual online. He sings a song about cutting dicks off and fucking little kids and boys. If you want to have to take the, the, the due diligence to go look at his videos. That's not the Canada we want to live in. Yeah. That's I got kids. I got five kids. How many kids you got? So, I not the Canada we want to live in. I understand. I have nine grandkids, buddy. Let's expose it. I, there you are. I, it's up to you guys. You guys, you guys are the ones that have the ability to help us stop this garbage. But you see right now, Josh, they're being told they can't do their jobs. Yes, unfortunately. You guys signed. When you first became a police officer, did you not swear an oath to protect the people? And... Is that not a true thing? Did you not swear an oath to protect the people and our rights and freedom of rights? Children and children are minors, and the innocence of children should be protected at all times. Minors and they're being victimized right now. Is this guy here doesn't touch me? So why isn't he it's being a, arrested? He's, it's, it's he grabbed my hand. It is why a isn't he not being? It's a ticketed event. But why isn't he? So if we're following the friggin' rules, why isn't this guy being arrested for grabbing me right now? Oh my God! Can you want me to catch you off guard? Fuck! So he's allowed to assault me? That you're here? So he just did it. I have it on film. And this is why I won't stop filming because I was a, I was accosted by this gentleman right here in front of three police officers that did nothing. I, I didn't see. Do you want me? You can watch it on the Facebook of Mr. Freedom. He grabbed my hand. Is he allowed to touch me? So he's allowed to touch me, and these people are allowed to expose themselves in front of children at Pride Week. That's the new rules for them, and not for and different ones for us. So my understanding is it is a ticketed event. Right? But how does that make it okay? Well, people sign up to go to it. How many? This guy tried to steal my how phone many, from my hands. How's that okay? 60? Yeah. How many people are in there now? 60? I didn't know. Are you sure? But anyways, I think I... Can I have this man charged with assault? He did... No, so not we're not going to do the assault charge right we're not now. We're not going to. So if I went and grabbed him by the neck, you'd have me arrested in the ground, beating the shit out of me. Because I was in Ottawa and they pepper sprayed me, get the fuck out of me. You didn't let me. <laughs> I don't have to. Uh, I, I know the end result. No, I'm not going to. Nothing's going to happen to these people. Can, they can expose themselves to children and they can do whatever they want. I, I can give you my card. Please. You have the video. Send it to me. I'll report it. I can be in touch with you. And we, we can go from there. And nothing will happen as usual. I'm not going to do the assault charge right now. I didn't see it. Okay, well, we have it, it live. You can actually, we can have it right here for you. He grabbed, tried to grab the phone out of my hand. Attempted theft, assault, whatever it would be. If I went and touched any of those people, you would have me on the ground, pepper sprayed, zipped up, and in the back of your car in no time. That's a fact. That's factual information there. What if? They videotaped it, yeah. Hey, we're paying your guys tax. Uh, tax is paying for you guys, too, to sit there and promote this, and they can assault and get naked in front of kids, but we can't, uh, we can't uh, use these rules to help us. That's great. Good. No wonder if you, you know what this government's going to do to you guys? The country's so broke, there's going to be no pension left for you. There's nothing left for you guys. This country's going downhill. We're in debt so far, and you're standing up for them. Do you remember three short years ago when they're trying to get rid of you guys? And I actually sponsored you guys. I was protecting the boys in blue. Supported you. I know, but you've got to start getting loud. We got to. 
I, do you understand? You, you're, you're a man. I'm trying to be respectful of what you guys are up. trying to do. Stand up with us, then. Stand beside, beside us. Stand beside us and protect these children, man. Do you think this is right in there? Do you honestly, honestly, do you believe this is right? You do understand my role here today. And if you say anything, you lose your job. You have a different opinion of what they want you to have. To serve and protect the public. So a children isn't a child isn't considered public. Do you not think that it's? Do you think? Like, I know you don't think this is okay because I can see it in your face. I can see it in you, man. This is drive. I know. I know. I can see it on you. You're a good guy. Thank you. And you're stuck. And you're stuck in a rut. You don't know what to do because you got to go and get a paycheck. Yeah. And that's what you're doing. Sitting. Five hundred thousand dollar mortgage with the interest rates going up. Thanks. Love you as a human being. Thank you. But you know what? I hate what's going on right now. It's not. Right. And you know it in your soul and in your being, you say, right? And that's why you're blushing right now. And that's why you can't look me in the eye like a man. Look me in the eye and you tell me this is okay. Look me in the eye and you tell me this is okay. Would you bring your kid to this event? Thank you, sir. Thank you. You've said that. Well, listen here and document. There's no point in going any further. You're not going to press charges against the person who assaulted me. And um, I respect you, but uh, I don't respect what the government's sweaty. making you do. <laughs> It's like the Eminem song. Your hands are sweaty. Hands Mom's are sweaty. spaghetti. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> I'm also I also I'm comedian cool. too. Also so do your thing. I'm, I'm going to sit here and document a little bit. I'm not going to stay for the full event. Okay. Um, I'm not going to stay until it's over. But um, I'm just going to show. I'm just here to show the people uh, what's actually going on. And I have a duty to do as a parent. And I and I appreciate. I didn't want to. Sorry. No, I feel your pain, bro. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I understand. I understand. I appreciate being respectful. Yeah. You're allowed to uh, be in this program. I look forward to the day, though, when you do stand beside us. I'll be waiting for that day patiently. I'll get a big hug. I'll give it a more. Well, 400,000 hugs were in this coat. Never got COVID once. So this is like its own vaccine. You want, you want, a, you want a little vaccine? All right. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's a law to uh, not get assaulted either, so we're going to go stick with the actual laws. They got assaulted. Yeah, I, I, I told you how So, we where's that guy? Can he be removed from the present? So, there is a. Uh, you guys have. I feel like you don't even get scared. Why you're here? Yeah, and as, yeah, we have. I do. Every, I go to every event. I know it's right. I know so. I have a part to do as a father and a mayor, a Canadian citizen. How much longer they want? They want you to do that. Well, I got to take my daughter to the. Um, the horse barn for uh, exactly. you know, do dad stuff. So I'm not going to be here all day. I'm not going to have my kids exposed to this sexual predator. How, how, long, how long do you plan on being I'm probably going to be heading out in probably 20 minutes. Okay, because um, library... I'm not going to wait around for the, to see the I people know again. Know. The library has... They just have concern because they have their code of conduct. Except for this. It's supposed to be quiet in the library. There it is right there. Not it disruptive. There it is right there. I just had it. I just had it. Yeah. So, so I'll send it to you. You can send it off. And then, okay. And then I'll take your card then. I'll, it, I'll get out of here. I didn't, my, my job here is done. Yeah, I'll, I, yeah, I'll take a card, sir. And I'll, can we walk to the, the play thing? Sure. Yeah. yeah we'll give you my card. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Just one little thing. Say goodbye. Come on. Bye. I just said goodbye. You want a hug? I'll give you my card. No, I know. Okay. Anyone need a hug? Anyone need a hug? Why would I wear a real one? It's cruel. It's a trigger hat. It's, you guys like you guys are so comfortable with outfits. Right did you? Canada, yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah. Bye. That was a trigger to get you guys upset. That's what I did. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Good. Hey, bring it in. Support, buddy. Yeah, buddy. God bless you. I'm getting out of here though. I'm gonna take my daughter to the uh, horse barn. But uh, <clears throat> can I ask this guy a quick question? How many boosters you had, buddy? Just ask for my online. How many boosters? <laughs> How many boosters? All right, guys. How many, how many boosters? <laughs> you guess at home, people. Don't worry, it's safe and effective. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I love you too, brother. <laughs> I love you. Oh, All right, well, I gotta go uh, do normal things with my children. Yes. And, uh. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll, uh, we have the documented assault. And we're not going nowhere. I know. Okay? I'm a victim of this. This is why I'm working. Yeah. Please yeah, tell the story. I'm a survivor of this.
10 years of my life grooming, sexualization, thought it was normal. This isn't normal. He's a victim. I am, I I'm a survivor, bro, not a victim. And that's why I'm here, for these victims in here. Because that's what's going on. God bless you, bro. Give me, bring it in. Hey, guys. Oh, you're getting tired. So they're gonna clean me out here. Yeah, yeah. It's our taxpayers. It's our taxpayers. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, not many people answer. Oh, Appreciate it. You've been really quiet. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. All right, can I get a handshake at least? No, a handshake. We do handshakes around here. We're... Men shake hands. Men shake hands. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. And uh, that's what I wanted you to do. I'm here is cause awareness. Have a great day, gentlemen. Good. All right. So that concludes our visit to the public library where they're promoting sexualization of children. They have a drag queen named Ophelia. You can look at my past video. She has a very erotic video talking about cutting dicks off, sucking dick, fucking, and banging little kids, uh, little boys and girls, it says in the song, which she's dancing to and mimicking the words to. So if you want uh, your children exposed to this type of satanic um, and pedoph pedophilic bullshit, you can come down to the St. Catherine's uh, Centennial Public Library and you can have... Uh, host an event with Satan himself, but uh, I wore my trigger hat today to piss off the, uh, the people today. Yeah, like, it worked. <laughs> hey, hey, if, you can, if you can wear a dress and dance for kids, why can't I wear a Trump hat? Eh? I'm more of a North American. Anyway, guys, you got to get out here and do this shit in your hometown. These people are doing this all over the place. And uh, it's literally disgusting. And uh, I don't know why no one's standing up for this. It's, it's disgusting. Hey, sweetheart. How's it going? Oh, good. I'm going home now. I just came to... Uh, my mind. Hey, bring it in. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, I know you're allowed to. Sherwin Williams, I love their paint. That's what our diamond shingles are made with. Yeah, right on. Big time. Yeah. All right, thanks for coming, buddy. Bit of a shit show? <laughs> no, no, they just said we got what we wanted, right? Just exposure and showing people what's going on. They would let us in for the show, though, but... Anyways, guys, I'm, uh, I'm out for the day. Uh, I got to hang out with the fam jam, so God bless you all. Stay strong. Fight Satan. If you see Satan later, tell him to all right, gang, we're gonna wrap that one up. Pretty awful thing going down in um, my country of Canada, which I love very much. I love the people in the lineups at the grocery store. I care about the people that I pass on the sidewalks. But our country, guys, is it's not going well. Like, do you believe that we're being guided in the right direction by this liberal NDP coalition government i don't after seeing that like i feel for that guy i don't think that's the right way to handle that situation necessarily but how else are you going to deal with my name's aaron this is question period canada we have a lot more questions than when we started about eight months ago come join the channel we're growing like we're growing like a weed it's awesome we have this authenticity feel to what we're doing here. I just want Canadians to see what I see because I'm trying to learn about what's going on and I want to share that with you because I know that there's more than just me that's curious about all this. And yeah, we have a great time watching the live question period broadcast. Come check out one of the live chats. It's a great time. We try to keep it clean in there, but you know, sometimes these politicians, we've got to, you know, throw some rocks their way. But come and check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Like, subscribe, get notified, share. We make a lot other a lot of other videos besides this type. This is a more serious uh, topic than we usually deal with. Ah, it just seems heavy and sensitive. I, I don't know how to describe. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Aaron, Question Period Canada, like, subscribe, get notified, share, all those fun things. Check out this other video that's floating around. We'll catch the next video. Thanks for watching. One more time, have something healthy to eat. Stay warm. Try to stay. It's easier to do in Nova Scotia, kind of cold and damp tonight. Catch the next video.